Hello, and welcome back to Zenith Kodam TV. In this video, we will be going over the top 10 players with the highest KD ratio from World Champs 2023. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Influence of time, boss is looking at fun. So far already taking the control, Inko with a breakthrough, but not too long. Ambi immediately gets back inside here with the Gra will try to defend himself through the smoke, doing an outstanding job of defending themselves inside of LG to no alley. And okay, three go down. Chance maybe to stack as the clock has stopped. You've got Zen over on B, at least for a time. Cats are cursing it all over the place. <laughs> and B will oh, bring things up. 17 plays for This round will come to a very, again, extra couple of seconds here and there for Godlike. Not bad news as Envy will clean things up, but the focus for Godlike is already on road. That'll be enough if he wants more. Pause progress on the third tick. Focus for Kendra all over the map and still not able to come out on top of the LG Ice Cult to start things off here on day one. War Machine from Envy, keeping everybody at bay. Seemingly continue to have a whole lot of control up in their hands. There's gonna be the push from four members at the same time from Godlike, and that's finally the push they needed. But there's Envy with the double situations here now. Already broke through that 200 point barrier, less than 40 seconds away from success. There's Envy with the clean. About an even game, but as fences will open up, team. And both teams playing from their respective corner. Point of contest, you would feel like for Gigendra, they're not quite yet. But the way that both are playing is similar to what we saw on Hardpoint, which is very heavily objective oriented, and that's working tremendously. If you think about the fact that the lives are still quite close, finally we see the side of LG getting a bit of a lead, but that's still not going to be enough. No, it's simply not. Second segment. Live coming through from Volt, trying to at least flush out the last player that was Tectonic on the opposite side, but while she has a sniper, catches one lacking on the E-chan. Just baiting out, maybe even for a little bit of a peek, hits. Washi immediately realizes that there's an opening in here, gets inside, goes for that kill, takes it like it's nothing, goes for the double, and kills him as well. Triple in here, only gonna use the control. There's gonna be one more that could be the last one, but God like our far ahead. And that's exactly what they need. But LG is seemingly gonna get there first, thanks to the hands of Washi. LG on B for now looks like the first tick of progress will be comfortably locked. Band making sure no one plays over through the top, but Washi beats it with an Annihilator, and he's gonna go for three. More possibly on the way, what a shot from Washi! Luminosity just playing on their side of the map are just buying so much time because Vault only have two respawns to play with. Oh my goodness, nice. Tonic who's holding the inside of Garage while the remaining are trying to defend over on Bravo. Washi knows that Trunks is in here, gonna get that kill. We'll kick things off with an opening double. And back we go to the P1 rotation. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what impact could have this time. Producing the life gap, just a touch. Washi over the top of the ground. But not a triple. Still managing to survive. There's Washi with his own double. For Inko, you feel like you might need some of those if you're going to hold them off inside of P4. Where Inko already have themselves at least seen it. Ladies and gentlemen, LG already on the go for the triple. Will be really, really important. Lucas in with another kill, bouncing once again. They are gonna repeat it with the R90. Washi ahead in a 2 1 fight on the overall series. Washi from the pinch. They take for the side of Godlike initially from the start of the round, but they lose control at the end of it. 11 to 17, make it 10 to 17 as Reef is pushed up. All of the players from the side of Kagendra is now pushed up, and Godlike, they have their back against the wall. They can't do much. They falling down. Reef popping off still, patrolling the skies, patrolling the ground. Put him wherever you want him to be. He is able to convert. And Godlike down to their last four lives now. Not looking very good for them. Although it seems that they're going to be able to save those operator skills in a couple scores. Being met by the players of Godlike as they push in. Control of that trailer is going to be given to the side of Kugendra. But wow. looks like Reef just gets a huge triple kill there. Zen is not being seen yet, but let's see. There we go. He got the first blood right now. On his great position, impatient, waiting, getting two more kill Four points to claim to end off this game. And they absolutely need this one badly. They haven't been able to play search and destroy into a battle that they want to see. And so far, they only need to get here. And Reef is getting finessed with. He still can't find the kill. Off the reload. The slide comes through, but Tech is watching over the top. You have to take this fight. You have to take it now. Takes on space. Last and final player is going to be stuck for you with a growl 556. And he does have a few more moments to stall out. Ooh. He slides in, he gets bingo. Now it's going to be Earth and J, Mr. Clutch King himself. But unfortunately, time has dwindled down. He has to find a way to get the defusal. 
Now, only six seconds left. Looks like he's going for the defuse, but Thug peeks out, gets that kill. And unfortunately, just the time pressure got. They close it out. It's actually a really big break coming through there for the last 20 seconds here of the second set of hard points. And it'll actually allow Team Mayhem what feels like forever in this map number one to be able to flip the lead wide there with the pellets. Now bringing it down to 1v3. Kings gets caught lacking. Are you kidding me? First blood. Jesus finds the kill, gets taken down. The answer all over the place. Everything's chaotic. Regain comes through. Ribalo making a little bit more punishment happen with the war machine out. And Chef's kiss was a masterpiece to watch. And now it is. He may have, they're gonna get knocked out. But what a stand up in favor of the walls that was. Benefiting from getting that rotation over towards P3. Wolves have been able to flip the lead back in their favor. Down to five seconds as far as P3 is concerned, and Zai is still frying inside of the top. Five. Up to five in a row. Got himself a nice little. They have numbers advantage, but they didn't clear top server. Zai's looking to make a play. Oh, double kill there for Sai. That was a great positioning for him immediately. Trying to find a third one, and is in front of a triple kill for Sai. Has to reload, doesn't matter too much, as he knows that the enemy's yeah. under there. That's a quadra. Over towards new. 10 seconds is all that remains over by P1. Just a seven point disadvantage that Tribe find themselves on. But wow. so it's the kills that are found at the utmost right times, like Sai three piece there. That should help out the two operators into the back pockets for Tribe. Nothing on the board, oh. the Annihilator's already popped for Zai, just starting things off as hot as he came in towards this series. It is a damn near flawless opening once again for Wolves. And now you've got lanes locked down, you can start to move forward into this potential spot trap, especially with the Annihilator out. Oh, oh, oh my god, headshot! First set of hard points, just about a dead even game, honestly. Unless Wolves have anything to say about it for these last five seconds, they potentially will get the last lap. That'll put them at 100 points, but not really. Wolves are pulling operators, and oh boy, they are hitting. And out, claw out. Both being used to put this spawn trap really in. Make it happen. They want to take the first map of hardpoint away of the hands of Q9. It's not being easy, but so far they're winning by over 30 seconds going their way there. Again, that footing in this map. The trend's starting to change just a touch. Wolves looking at this last 20 seconds, saying, hey, we need to hit this. Side from the water, able to find the opener. Able to also clear off Wolves to get themselves set up and chew into this already pretty significant deficit. Just comes down to can they get themselves going with a solid hold. Yeah, and it's mostly going to be a break from the south side. That's why you're seeing the push through mass. It's actually a lot of information. And now they're trying to wipe the slate clean of what happened in the first set. They don't want to have Kings spawning too close towards B3. They completely clean them out from the back side. Let's see now the retake as Trunks is already behind the enemies, gets one, gets the double, immediately bounces for the triple, gets the assistance from Lern, turns around and gets yet another kill, no way to stop this player who already reloaded, there's gonna be a hunter killer drone on Neutrino's hands, and Trunks is still alive to survive, to destroy. Nine Wolves definitely holding the edge in terms of how this map is trending towards their direction. 83 plays 37. Couple of extra seconds here at the end. And Godlike, I will say early, you need to find this rotation right here to P4. Neither team has played it yet this weekend. Still looking really comfortable. But Godlike, with Trunks absolutely ripping Standpoint apart, has already got an early claw before we even open up the third hard point. And Trunks is saying, eat my shorts. He is able to get on in the nick of time. Depletion looks good. And his last player for SPG can't quite get there, but oh, Zion the ledge just completely avoids the launcher of the war machine. Trunks get to work, pinching things up through mid map on three in a row. Turn it burn. Well, what would you feel like? Maybe two gunfights, yeah. plus maybe four operators at the least. Well, so far so good. Nothing's been popped yet for Wolves and Godlike have good control. Bottom side spiral. Dad, they managed to reveal themselves now. Trunks in here with a Fennec. We'll find one. We'll oh. find two. A spawn out does occur. You have one player that's a beast that effectively spawns in 4P2, but wonderfully scattered out by Peg, shutting things down before the rotation towards him. Oh, Trunks are to at least clear the space. Furthermore, Big. prevail. Utilize. The Predator Missile is keeping all these players. I've got like if they manage to control, but that's not gonna be no easy. Oh! That's horrible for Trunks. There's still a lot of time to fight over here. As Incendio gonna be able to call himself inside the Predator Missile. That is now three in that life. The break's soon to follow as Powerhouse build their lead even more. Yes, sir, that's right. 40 to 22, and there is once again the breakthrough. It seems like it takes around 30 or so seconds for Exclusive to actually get inside. Just by, I wanna say, what, two, three seconds? Not gonna...
。我说实话，因为很多队伍啊，因为像这个缆车位就很适合用我们的进化者去做图。这是防守的时候做一个趴地呀、啊，然后。There's the opportunity for Incendio to use that war machine on what I think would be on point number two. He continues to clean the heal and helps a little bit more to the side of Powerhouse. I mean, realistically, you do feel like that this game would probably still be in Powerhouse's favor. They probably have a bigger score margin if they just didn't overextend to try to break inside of P2 there in the first set. So we'll have to see what they can, like. You need to get on towards this control zone, but there's so many different head glitches. A wonderful capture here from our observers for Incendio, who actually gets himself a Predator missile. Is going to call it in over by driveway. Will towards new, but exclusive. I mean, you feel like you've played this flawlessly. You have operators to keep them at bay. Hunter Killer drone by Neil is to opening things up. Gonna force the hand of Powerhouse to maybe try to brute force their way in. That's gonna be Incendio with the War Machine, finding himself at least one. But the trades via the Gunny is going to be there for Powerhouse. Not wall exclusive is still racking up a lot more time now, cutting the lead down. To Step up there. They have to go into that hill, and that's exactly what Powerhouse does. But. I'm not quite sure how long they're going to be able to hold this. I mean, it's been such a close game between these two teams. Over that hard point. Oh my God, just like that. And that's six points to go, brother. Yeah, four more points to go. Again, right here on the verge to close things down. But walls out of the sky. Out from the sky, they hail down, and they still try to put up a fight. But then on the feed, we'll find a four on an equalizer. And they're on the verge of getting the first touch on the hard point. Nian with a war machine. Trying to deny the win, trying to do exactly what he has to do to extend the game furthermore. Back spawn for the side of Kagendra, and it's all because of Nian. That why is Wolf living now? But Kagendra, only one more point to claim for them to seal the game. Oh. Made so many different battles that were happening on either end of P2 that Wolves finally are able to sustain themselves and get themselves inside for the majority of the time here at P2. Eight seconds left to be soaked up here, and Wolves actually strong. Wolves are pushing them back. Good patience here from Godlike, but better positioning from Wolves. 157 to 103. Long range shots from the U. Here with Benek trying to survive. There's going to be the push coming down from the side of Unite trying to knock him. The point starts to open. Gets shut down, does sigh from a nade out of trunk, so that at least shuts down any sort of streak. Trino's going to continue to lock it down with an AR. A brilliant moment here for Godlike, and it forces the hand of Wolves to have to use something to try to crack this code. Now it really starts to make. Now around the back. Hunter Killer Drone trying to sniff out the spawns. Rabalo, War Machine out. That very favored back right corner where B is. No, it's not given that all. But they need something, anything, possibly to get themselves. It's going to be a small little pinch. It does at least benefit them to spawn out. Doors up this third hard point. The tree new. Here's the thing though. You utilize all those operators. You didn't find all the kills in the world shift. But think about how much clock just got yeah, exhausted yeah, to at least that. extend the round. Sniper in the hand of Neon. Golly, this guy is. As they get a couple of members forward on both zones. Very small sample pool, but this is actually the both of these two teams. First time playing standoff in their series that they have played. So Not with the spare, I was LG have firm control at P4. You were talking about the operators from Godlike, but what about Ben now Tech? Finding a kill to prevail, going for the double. He knows that he's there, gets it. Black is nothing, turns around now with a graph, finds Ooh. the triple immediately. Where we previously stood. 15 seconds left on P2 before we have to take immediate focus over towards P3. And if you are LG, you might just chalk it because P3 and P4 are the true money hills that you need, potentially not only to flip the lead, but to close the game. Uh, we saw exactly that with the side of TLE. They were losing, but when it came down to point number three, that's exactly where the comeback began. That's exactly what we need to see in order for uh, LG victory. Of course, Bolt not gonna make that an easy task in here. Tectonic of course, cleaning up the final kill there on two ban, thanks to Kant. And he's also finding a lot more kills to boot as well, just trying to get some of these last ditch operators and utility out from Luminosity. It's Bolt over 200 points first. Yeah, I generally thought that tech was gonna get down early. Continues to be inside MB, try to go through with a war machine, not gonna be possible. LG finally gonna break through. Five seconds away from victory. There's tech with a grog, keeping things at bay with the shots to the door. Gets the upper. For Godlike, good. Trunks really starting to catch some heat. 33 kills for him. Keeping more than pace of what they He has in this pen of, I want to say, like 20 seconds. Everybody, heads up, rotating onto point number two once again. War Machine out for Zed. LG just trying to hold onto the doorways where they. You train all. I'm to kill a drone. She key. Dark wave. Finds absolutely no one. Unfortunately, silly. It was a waste. But if he had gotten that, would have been a crazy play and godlike. Maintains the lead. But the. Opportunity run away with P2 here for the side of Exclusive. One player from the back. 
And it looks like Neutrino single-handedly just burning. Looking for an opportunity to shut down Queen as well. Right above him, Neutrino gets a gift. It's only spawn on the side of God like the Indians absolutely crushing this game. And now all of the naysayers, all of the doubters of God like watching the supremacy. Exclusive. Bally oh, far so good. The equalizer for Prevail almost gets more than just the opener. But is that enough? Detrino following up with the War Machine, making life miserable for LG inside the hard point. The kills keep on coming and they don't stop coming. Six kills for Detrino. Prevail also still a part of the picture as Detrino pulls off a flawless War Machine. Eight kills with it. He's fully streaked except for the EMP, which he's just a kill away from. There it is. Fully streaked from hitting. They do clean up tech behind the play. A piece with the Sparrow out. Godlike, a chance to reclaim the lead, and Neutrino continues. And something to hold on to. He will be taken down, Neutrino, and oh, clean shots with Neutrino. But a trot nade out of nowhere, and extra time, please, sir, says DLE. He's there, manages to somehow miss that last shot, but it doesn't matter that much. His team is still holding this score. Spent this hold, at least through the opening few. Wow. Members got gravity vortex guns, sparrows, war machines, the kitchen sink, if you will. One side, war machine on the other, and nobody from Wolves is going to be able to get into this hard point. Last couple of the shots come out. Wolves. And uh, we've talked about how important it is, yet, how many questions it holds. Through. I'm going to go a little deeper, let my teammates just walk. The play, and for the longest time that we've been questioning Clove, he shows up. Taking down attacks everywhere from the side of Kugendra, Neutrino left all up. Neutrino with the timing gets the backstab. Up over for the third hill. They can turn this into a huge snow. 